Hello everyone, LocoForce here and welcome back to another review for the Rowan Model Store. And today we're looking at our, another one of our bundles that we have up at the moment, uh, which is the Virgin Mark II bundle. If you saw the Virgin Mark III bundle last week, uh, they are all sold out apart from the one that I have, um, so they'll be back in stock at some point next week once I get my one uh, returned. Okay, so we have R4943A, which is a Vir Virgin Mark IIF second open, uh, and then we've got R4945A, which is a break second open, and then we've got another break second open, uh, so this isn't actually like a prototypical rake, it is just a collection of coaches, uh, and this is uh, R4945, so obviously uh, very similar SKUs. Um, it's just one of them is a different number. As you can see, we've got 9523 and 9539. And then I, the other one, I believe, is also a second open. I know it's a first open, um, which is R4944. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to take a look at R4944, which is a first open coach. Um, not really going to explain the packaging. Uh, we all know at this point, if you've been watching my videos, you know, Hornby packaging. It is just plastic sleeve inside a cardboard box. So what we do have is a very small detail back, uh, which can include what looks like a couple of knuckle couplers. Um, so there is extra detail to put on there. And then as, as usual, um, pop off the top here. And uh, there's normally a bit of clear uh, plastic that covers the top. Let me just take that out. So uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. Okay, so straight out of the box, um, I feel like these are already uh, slightly higher quality maybe uh, than the Mark III's we looked at last week. Uh, they just look a lot more well done to me. Um, I feel like the paint finish is slightly better. I feel like there's a lot more decals, there's a lot more detailing on here. Um, so let's take a look at that detailing now. Okay, so taking a look at uh, this end of the coach, uh, I feel like there's quite a lot more detail on here than there was again on the Mark III's. But again, they are technically different coaches, so I suppose I shouldn't really be comparing them. Um, so we've got the Cantrail um, in orange, obviously, at the top here. We've got two uh, warning stickers. We've got handrails painted in a different colour. Uh, and then we've got some more printed details. We've got the um, data panel. Uh, we've got a coach one. And then there's some more there that I can't pick out because my eyes are awful. Interestingly, the area surrounding the door is in two different colours. This is prototypical, and you do see it quite a lot on uh, coaching stock, but one half has either been replaced or repainted, while another half hasn't. Um, and you can also see that the door is white here, and there's actually quite a lot of detail on the door. Now you can see that there's a, quite a lot of moulded detail there, um, so that's really nicely done. Another thing to point out, uh, there is no um, sprung buffers, um, but it's, it's very close coaching stock. Um, who don't really need it to. Okay, so starting on sides of the coach, we can see this is first class as there is the uh, yellow stripe there underneath the Cantrail, uh, which I'm pretty sure is just a standard British Railways way of saying uh, this is first class um, and you still see it today. Um, you can see there is a, a printed, printed uh, decal here. Obviously that represents uh, the lights that will go on and off as and when the coach is locked and unlocked. Uh, we've got the handle and a handrail painted in a different colour and then these steps are also in yellow uh, which is quite cool makes them stand out a bit there's a decal there as well as a virgin logo just here obviously we can tell it's first class as there's a massive one up here uh, so that's pretty cool and then if we take a look at the bogies as well um, unlike the LNER Mark 3s uh, the bogies do actually have uh, some different colours picked out on them and they're actually pretty finely uh, printed as well so that's quite cool there so looking at the main side of the coach, uh, we can see the undercarriage is a little bit bare maybe, but all the printed detail, sorry not printed, all the um, moulded detail is there. We've got the boxes, electrical boxes, that sort of thing. Again, I think there probably is some decals that would be on these in real life. Uh, they are missed out on the model, uh, but maybe that's something we'll see on maybe Backman's or Acura scale Mark IIs uh, in the future. On the windows, we also have some decals. I'm assuming it's no smoking decals. I've never been on one of these in my life, um, but that is, that's most likely what they are. And obviously the windows are tinted as well. And then the main feature of the Virgin livery, obviously we've got the transition from the sort of dark gray to the red here. There's no paint bleed at all there. And then you've also got the uh, three white stripes printed on top. And then taking a quick look at the other end of the coach, obviously it is 
basically exactly the same as the other end, uh, except for the fact that we do have the coach number uh, down the bottom here, uh, which if it will focus, you can see is 3340. Okay, so we're now taking a look at the brake coach, uh, the brake second open, or one of the two. Obviously, I'm only going to make a video on this first one, as the other one is exactly the same, just with a different number. Uh, so, as the same is with the um, second class coach, um, we've got the two warning decals, uh, the printed detail here, uh, with the data panel, the coach one, uh, and then some detail that I just can't make out with my eyesight. Uh, as with the other one, we've got the very well painted um, so very well molded door with a lot of detail. You can see where it would fold in uh, to allow passage between the two coaches. And as with the other one, we've got the split black and white uh, gangway. Again, uh, oleo buffers, but obviously they are not sprung buffers. And again, we've got the uh, white handrails as well. So as we can see, the side of the coach is significantly different uh, as there is an extra door uh, in the middle here. And there is also bars on the windows of the doors, which you can see here. So starting from this end, we've got the Virgin logo, uh, a window with a bar across it. We've got this door here, which has the bars on it, and then has um, the silver handrail there. And then this is another one of those ones, which clearly is a bigger door. Uh, you can see it goes all the way along here, just this other door doesn't have a window. And I presume, uh, as this is a brake coach, uh, it's used to store things. So obviously you need the wider door to maybe get in some post or a wheel wheelchair passenger maybe. Uh, or whatever the case might be. Um, and then, as with the other one, uh, we've got the nicely done bogies, uh, springs in different colours, uh, the axle box is also painted, and then the step here, and then the steps over here are also painted as well. And you can see there's two doors here, uh, one's for passenger use. No, my, my mistake. One isn't for passenger use, and then this one is uh, another one for the brake uh, area here, uh, which again has the bars on it. Uh, handrails painted in white, and you can see there's a decal there that says uh, not for passengers. And then we've also got the three white stripes going along the body. And again, uh, not seeing any paint bleed uh, between the grey and the red. So this end of the coach does differ slightly. Uh, you can see we've again got smoking stickers in the windows. Um, and again, no paint bleed between the grey and the red. Got the continuation of the white striping, Virgin logo. And then we've got a door. This one actually does not have the bars on it. Uh, as this is actually one of the ones for passenger use. Then we can see down the bottom here the coach number, which is 9539. Okay, so this one is the second class coach, and it is pretty much identical uh, to the first class coach, uh, just without the numbers which uh, would be there. Uh, sorry, not there. The numbers which were here on the first class coach. As you can see, it's basically exactly the same. Uh, again, we've got the no smoking stickers in the windows. Uh, there's no paint bleed at all. Cantrail's looking good. Uh, we've got the decal for the door light, uh, the decal down the bottom there. And then we've got the same undercarriage and the nicely painted bogies. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the coaches down onto the layout, um, test them over the points and give them a little bit of the run just to see how well they roll. Okay, so we are now down here at the layout. So we're just going to give it a bit of a push. I've got it set up as first open, second open, and then we've got the brake second open over here, which I've just realised I've put on the wrong way round, but oh well. Um, so yeah, let's just give it a bit of a slight push. Um, very free running there. Uh, there's no resistance at all, so all the bogies are all fine, all the axles are great. Um, it's not tripping up on the points. Um, if we just set it to go around here, which is a first radius curve, remember, give it a bit of a push. Uh, there's no derailing going on, the couplings aren't messing around, uh, and it's clearly having no issues um, going to or from the points. Um, so that's, that's all pretty good. Um, as long as they can run like that in my book, so I think that's pretty good. Um, so let's do a little bit of running now. Okay, so we've got it running around now uh, with my Biffa 66. Um, so yeah, nice and smooth. There's no issues with the couplings there, um, which you can get sometimes. Um, so yeah, let's just let it run around for a little bit. Obviously not very prototypical, um, but I don't really have any locos that would actually pull these coaches. 
So overall, this is actually a really nice set of coaches. I think they're a lot better than the uh, Virgin Mark 3s, hence why they're at a slightly higher price. Um, but yeah, you can get all four of these coaches at reduced price um, on our website. I believe we have about four of these sets in stock. So if you do want one, there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, and if not, we have got multiple other bundles in stock. Uh, a lot of these Hornby four-wheel coaches as well. So if you're interested in that era, then give it a look. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye for now.